Republicans are putting hundreds of millions of dollars towards a project that could transform the connection between the district and Virginia. An announcement today that more than $700 million is being invested to expand commuter and freight rail service crossing the Potomac. Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Max Marcilla has the details on how this investment is set to improve our travels. I-95 is terrible. Uh, and, and everybody uh, in Virginia and probably East Coast has an I-95 story. Brake lights and frustration, not uncommon on 95, especially this part of 95, where Virginia meets D.C. over the Potomac. I'm just incredibly excited. But now uh, there's optimism after, from Danny Plogger uh, that that, that could be eased in the coming years. He leads the organization Virginians for High Speed Rail, and Thursday was a big win for them. At a press conference, elected officials from across the Commonwealth celebrated the Fed's $729 million investment toward transforming rail service. The money will go toward a new long bridge connecting Arlington and D.C. that includes five rail bridges and two pedestrian bicycle bridges. Also, improvements around La Enfant Plaza in D.C. and additional tracks in Prince William, Stafford, and Spotsylvania counties. Long Bridge will more than double the passenger rail capacity on Amtrak. This has been a choke point for decades. We're going to finally be able to get it done. This rendering shows what the finished product would look like and the impacts, Plogger says, includes hourly service between D.C. and Richmond by 2030 and a diversified transportation system. Allowing folks who are there driving through uh, or don't need to drive to take the train and that frees up capacity on the roadways for those who may want to drive or need to drive. Another goal of the project is to encourage economic growth in the region with the hopes that businesses and their future employers would move here because of a more connected transportation system. Reporting in Arlington, Max Marcella, DC News Now.